Hey everyone, Georgia Farming and Fluvog. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to grow bananas at home. All right, this is gonna be the complete guide, my monthly routine on what I do to grow these awesome banana trees. So step one, first off, if you don't already have your banana tree in the ground, if you're just trying to plant it, I have a video for you. I'm gonna to link to that right now so you can watch and get to this step. First, you're gonna prune your trees, then you're gonna remove the pups, you're gonna fertilize, and you're gonna water. You do this once a month, you're gonna have awesome trees. But first, let's jump in and talk about how a banana tree grows. So technically, this is a banana plant, not a tree. So as you can see, there's one main stalk here and the leaves actually grow out through the center, up the top and here. I can show you where a leaf is starting to come out right here. And basically they come out the top and then they expand out and those leaves actually become the trunk. So whenever you're pruning or doing anything, be careful not to cut too close to the trunk because these will actually become it. And then once this tree fruits one time, it will die off. The root ball stays alive. However, you need to let a pup that comes up through the side and you'll see we're gonna remove one in a little bit. You need to let one of those mature and become the new banana plant the next year in order to have fruit again. So let's jump into the four steps and how we get these to grow healthy. Step one, we're gonna talk about pruning. So I already have a detailed video on this. If you wanna see the full reason why we do this uh, and how to go into it, check out this video, I'm gonna to link to it right now. But for this, we're gonna go quick. You wanna cut off any of the lower leaves that have any dead material, they're broken, et cetera. We wanna promote upward growth. So get yourself a machete and let's chop them off. Make sure to always cut upwards, remember that. You can use these as dog food or mulch, whatever you wanna do. They're healthy, they're organic, don't hurt anybody. Let's go over here and do this to the other ones as well. We're gonna do the same thing over here on our double mahoy. This is a good bit smaller, so I'm gonna use pruning shears to cut off the leaves instead of my machete. But essentially again, we're gonna remove these lower leaves just to help the plant breathe some and make sure we get off anything that's unhealthy. For these, if you don't have to cut up or down since you're cutting it. Um, it really doesn't matter here. All right, we left four good ones and one new leaf that's coming out. Let's go do our last one, the ice cream banana. All right, this one over here is looking pretty good. We're just gonna remove this one bottom leaf. Quick and simple, ready to go. So let's go to the next step. If you notice off the main trunk of the banana tree, you have these little pups that grow up. This is actually how the banana's gonna fruit next year because once this main stalk fruits, it dies off. And so these have to replace it. However, they shoot off a ton of these every year, up to like 10, almost you know one every other week or so. And we only wanna let one survive once this is getting close to fruiting. So for right now, to help preserve all the energy towards the main trunk growth, we're gonna cut these off. And the way that you do this is you dig down close to the base where you can start seeing where it's connected to the banana tree down at the base. Zoom in here. So you can start seeing the roots now. And you'll see where it's actually connected into one big ball at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a shovel, trowel, whatever you have, stick it right in between the two, and then just push down really hard. And you're gonna cut it off. If you want these to survive, you wanna make sure that you keep a little bit of the roots with it. We'll show you in just a second. See how there's roots? You can actually replant this now and it'll grow into its own banana tree.
third step is we're gonna fertilize it. I have a video as well on how to fertilize your banana tree so you get the specifics on exactly how much for however, what size your banana is. But for here, what you're gonna do is just you're gonna take any basic 10, 10, 10, 16, 10, 10, 10, 6, 6, it really doesn't matter the ratio. Just, and you want a lot of fertilizer, you can just sprinkle it at the base. I do this every other week as a bi-weekly thing. You can do this once a month. You can do it every week if you want. You can use organic, inorganic. You can use ash from wood. You can use compost, whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. These bananas love food and they need a ton of it in order to grow healthy. So just keep on throwing it on as much as you can. Last step is we're gonna water it. If your hose has been sitting out in the sun like mine, make sure you spray it off to the side a little bit first because it can be really hot and you don't want to burn the tree. So just feel it until it's nice and cool. And then you can want to spray it around the base. You can spray the leaves. You can't overwater these things. They love water, gallons and gallons a day. Water them every day, water them twice a day, water them three times a day. It does not matter. When it's hot out, keep watering them. Make sure you water in all the fertilizer at the base. However much water you give them, they will drink it. Keep going. All right, everyone. Those are the four steps. You do these four things once a month, your banana trees are gonna grow super healthy and you're gonna have fruit by the end of the year. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.